YouTube, Red Viking Trucker. It is uh, Wednesday night. I've got a load. I've got about a two-hour ride to drop it in the morning, but I want to get this quick video out. Um, my trainer was passing through Memphis with a load, going to drop it uh, somewhere within a vicinity of the Memphis uh, city area. He slept at the receiver all night in the vehicle, and his trailer the door, the, the seal had been pulled off. It was just the plastic seal. The, the seal was pulled off and the doors had been opened up while he was sleeping and he was on their property. And uh, so the, the, the receiver refused the load obviously because the seal was not intact when they came in the next morning. This is where it gets crazy. He had to wait for an inspector to come inspect the load. It was all uh, required pallets to put it in the trailer so they really couldn't take anything out whoever let themselves in the rear of the, of the trailer while he was in his sleeper berth. He went to a, a travel center in Memphis, parked for the night waiting for the next morning after the inspector had inspected everything, resealed it, went to a travel center to wait to re-deliver it the next morning. At the travel center in Memphis, Tennessee, the exact same thing happened. The trailer, the, the seal was pulled off and the doors were opened up the next morning when he was doing his pre-trip inspection. He called the police. And again, the police said, well, since nothing's missing, there's no reason for us to come out. But you guys pay attention. You know, you, in my case, in his case as well, we have APUs. So you have uh, a running generator right behind where you sleep. Somebody getting into your trailer is fairly simple to do it quietly What's crazy is it happened twice in Memphis, and Memphis is not known to be a very good area. But I'm here laid up for the night at a Walmart. I went inside and I got a lock for my trailer because I would say 80% of my loads are sealed with either a just a metal uh, seal that's real flat metal or a plastic seal that either one can be taken off very quickly and easily quietly and then open your trailer doors while you're sleeping. So I put a lock on with a key needed to open it up. So if they're gonna pop that thing off, it's gonna take a little bit of work. But just pay attention out here. I mean, it's a little bit crazy. I've not heard of a trailer being broken into since I've been on the road like that. And if it's happened to him in Memphis, you know it's happened to other drivers as well. It's just not being publicized. So obviously people are a little bit emboldened and looking to steal merchandise and steal uh, shipping product to you know to sell and make some money. But just be careful out here again. It's why I try and stay either at a travel center, which in this case still he got broken into, and I rarely ever try. I rarely ever sleep on the side of the road. I'm either at a Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, um, or a travel center. But just pay attention out here and stop and spend five bucks on a nice lot for your trailer to help it avoid happening to you. Because I would think with having a hard lock on the trailer doors, even with a seal, but having a hard lock that's going to take some doing to cut through, they're going to pass that on by and go to the next uh, trailer that might be just a, a very easy to snatch off seal. Just pay attention out here. It was wacky hearing his story and having it happen twice in the same 24-hour period. And uh, the police said there's nothing they could do since nothing was missing. But uh, it's just crazy. It's crazy when you think this somebody was within 53 feet of where he was sleeping in the sleeper berth. And they were bold enough to break into his trailer looking to steal. Imagine if he had gotten out of his truck for any reason while that was in progress. Maybe go to the bathroom or something. You know, it's crazy absolutely insane and I haven't heard any chatter on the on the the uh, the driver boards and the driver online forums about that but you know it's happening to other drivers not just to him so when you guys get out here pay attention lock your trailer invest the five or seven dollars in a nice strong lock that is just one more deterrent so they'll pass you on by while you're in your sleeper berth sleeping that's my tip if you like my videos subscribe like comment and share you can reach me at the email address above None of us get out of here live. What are you waiting on? Red Viking Trucker is out.